hello this is Marcelie and welcome to my garden diary today we're looking at uh, this plant here it's called the sea holly and we've had this plant in the garden for many many years and it's a consistent performer actually we kind of just ignore it really uh, because it's again in a corner of the garden that you can see it from where we grill and so on but it's one of those plants that uh, you don't have to care too much about and unfortunately with plants like that then you tend not to pay attention to it but it's quite an interesting plant it adds interest to the garden um, it's quite unique if we look it has this uh, purple blue shade to it and um, it can grow up to about uh, 90 centimeters and it can get quite wide about 30 centimeters wide but right here there are a couple of different ones here so there's one uh, there's another one over there and there are a couple over there and the reason why they're so mm, not all over the place but they weren't intentionally planted like this they just uh, sowed themselves out so like most things in the garden we just had one plant and then one turned into many <laughs> so yeah uh, so these are as i said interesting plants and i i actually do like them um but i don't know why i don't pay more attention to them like maybe because it's on um, my husband's side of the garden uh, i did transplant uh, a couple in on the other side of the garden and they did well but they can get also quite large and i think i have so many other things going on over there that i am sure there are uh, some plants that are immature over there but uh, they might uh, have decided not to bloom this year or they're getting suffocated by the other plants yeah but if you want a plant that add interest to the garden then this is a good plant it's a unique nice color with the blue purple um, color to it uh, it's also drought tolerant but if it's not getting enough water of course it will it won't grow uh, that tall so you need to be mindful of that but even if it doesn't go that tall because this one that is here isn't that tall I think this might be maybe about 50 centimeters yeah it's not that tall but it's still interesting and it's here uh, beside uh, one of those um, butterfly bush and I think the contrast with the color looks quite nice there and yeah uh, this plant is also good as dried flower so if you are interested in uh, cut dried flowers then this is a good one it will keep the color and it will add interest to what or whatever flower arrangement that uh, you might be making or with um, with dry flowers right so an interesting plant uh, easy to take care of there isn't a lot of foliage uh, on this plant so yeah it's the foliage won't get in the way or anything like that because there isn't a lot of foliage uh, but lots of interesting blooms uh, so I think if we arrange this a bit better and just have a have this plant going around the bush the butterfly bush that is there then it would look um, much better in this area so that's something that uh, we might work on or not I mean we're just doing the cottage garden thing here so that's also okay right so 
if you're interested in an, in a plant like this then uh, absolutely no problems with pests or anything like that it's quite easy uh, it looks interesting and I would recommend it um, as an easy plant okay that's going to be it for this video today and I will see you in the next one bye